Mayor and City Council members, can you hear me? My name is Leslie Pollard, as most of you know. <clears throat> I was a planning technician in the um, planning department and also the union chapter president for now SEIU, I mean, yeah, SEIU Local 1021. As most of you know, um, back in oh, 2004, September 2004, I was taken off from work, escorted out of the building, and um, not allowed to return until this year, January 16th, 2007. And what I'd like to say just briefly is um, I've worked in Emeryville now for almost 30 years. June would be 30 years. And um, I worked at the Senior Center at the, um, for redevelopment agency as well as for planning, kind of worked my way up the ladder till I got to be a planning technician. Um, put a lot of years in this planning technician, worked extremely hard. I was pretty, I pretty much was raised here in Emeryville and um, went to school here. So my roots are really in Emeryville. So being able to be a planner in Emeryville was a great thing. It's a great city. We, um, February of 2005 actually, there were about 25 to 30 people who appeared before this board because I had filed a complaint against a Caucasian co-worker. And, that, and the person started retaliating against me. When the request came in from staff to change my job title and downgrade it, to make all these changes, Ruth wasn't there. Ruth was voting against it. Ruth never came to me. Ruth never asked. And I, and, I, and I say this because you all knew me. The only one that I can stand here and say that stood up and said anything about it was Kim Bukowski. Why are you changing her job title? Well, this doesn't make any sense. It forced me to do a whole bunch of other things I normally wouldn't have done because nobody cared. Nobody stepped up to the plate supported Kim Bukowski and looked into this matter, which sent the message to me that how many of you were in on it? But whatever the case might be, you were wrong for not looking into this because it's these taxpayers who's gonna pay the cost. Not you, not you, not you, not you, and not you. And I wanna applaud Mr. Bukowski because he made all of you look bad. He did, and, and that's a, a man when I have to say that Anybody that, can, that is willing to stand up against his colleagues, knowing that he might not get that vote on that next project because he just over, you know, we crossed the line, should be applauded because he did so. And you should have all listened to him. So I hope to come back one day. Thank you. Hi, my name is Millie Cleveland. I'm the union field representative for the SEIU Emeryville chapter. When a city pays an ex or settles with an extraordinary amount of money, it's a red flag. It's a very serious red flag that something is going wrong in your city and you guys are the overseers for this city. Serious errors were made in the legal department Serious errors were made by human resources. I need you to understand that the inequities are not just in City Hall, that we have problems that Leslie has just begun to unfold. And I hope that there's some introspection on your part with the legal errors and the H and the human resource department errors that led you to pay millions of dollars. Somebody should need, you need to stop looking at the employees and look at the people that you hire in those positions, particularly management. My name is Brian Donnie, I live at 4333 Holden Street. And, uh, 25 year resident, so I've listened to what was just said here by Ms. Pollard, and I'm, it's, it's outrageous. And so regarding, so Mr. Flores, the city manager is gone, so we can't say anything to him. But Mr. Biddle, the city attorney, still employed here by the city. And so regarding Mr. Biddle's culpability in this matter, I'd like to say uh, 
Uh, Biddy, you're doing a heck of a job. Now, I calculated the amount of money here. It's $4.6 million that, the, that the, the city of Emeryville is paying for this fiasco. And so I, I, on the way over here, I have a little calculator. It's, it's over $650 for every man, woman, and child in Emeryville. So I think of like all the, the civic projects that we need to do that, we, that we're now not going to be able to do. This is an outrage. And so I, I, I think the, the, the amount of in, in, ineptitude and incompetence by the management is just, it's just an outrage. And, and I don't even know. I, I'm just speechless, almost speechless about this. And I think it's time for Mr. Biddle to, uh, to step down, frankly. Is there any other public comment? Uh, Council Member Bukowski. <clears throat> I want to say I really want to thank Leslie for coming here and bringing these matters to our attention. It shows that she really cares about this city. She could go off with the money if she wanted, but that's not where she's at, and I know that. The other thing that I think is outrageous is that I asked for a copy of the transcript of this matter because I wanted to investigate it, and I was refused that document. I was asked to make a decision to give away millions of dollars, and I could not have the document necessary to, to find it out. I still can't get a copy of it. The city attorney has refused it. He asked the members of this council to deny me a copy of this document when I was 15 minutes late for a meeting. I didn't even have a chance to tell or talk to the members of the council about it, and they refused to put it on the agenda, so I can't even discuss it with my colleagues. That's the kind of treatment that I got. And I've been treated that way a long time ago, and Leslie and I were comparing notes on that. It's really an unfortunate day for the city here, but I hope we can change things, and I will work to change this process. I've, I've introduced an idea to change the grievance process so the council even has the opportunity to look at these matters before they go to binding arbitration. We at least deserve the opportunity to find out what the uh, risks are before we go forward to a binding matter in the courtroom. So that's all I have to say. Thank you. <laughs> Uh, pardon me, Please. could you identify yourself please? Um, Valerie Savage. And I would really like to know what you guys plan to do to stop, you know, this type of practices. It's, it's really just absurd. This is a small city, but you have such a big racial problem and such a big problem with discrimination. And I'm really wondering if, if with all of this going on in Emeryville, if you guys have reviewed any documents, if you guys have talked to anybody, um, because I'm just so outraged. I personally don't think that you guys are fit, with the exception of Kim Bukowski that Leslie um, has pointed out. You know, I'm hoping that you guys do something about this, that you set up a, um, a, some type of um, diversity, um, investigation. I know myself and other taxpayers are going to um, hold you guys accountable that this needs to be investigated. And, w and we'll make sure that this problem gets investigated. And you know, it's time out for, for backdoor politics. You guys are wasting taxpayers' money, and this is, this is just senseless. And Leslie Pollard's issue is a prime example. And I personally think that you guys should just be ashamed of yourself. Um, if Bob Savage was here, or even if he wasn't, he'd probably be turning over in, in his grave if he knew what was going on. You know, he didn't stand for this kind of stuff in Emeryville. He stood for, he wanted this to be a place for all people, where they're comfortable, where they're happy, where it's a place they can enjoy to live and to work and to play, to shop. And, you know, he, he wanted this to be a place for all people. And you guys, many of you knew him very well. And it's, it's really sad because I know that if he was here today, this would not be happening. This would not be. So I, I think that it's, it's definitely time for change in Emeryville. It's time to end these, the backdoor politics that take place in Emeryville. We live in a democratic society, and yet in the city of Emeryville, the voters do not go to the voting poll and elect a mayor, and it is 2007. I don't understand that. It's time, it's time for change in Emeryville. You know, and the taxpayers should be, just be flabbergasted. Pardon me, you bring your comments to a close? I will bring my comments to a, to a close. Thank you. It's time for change in, in Emeryville. 
Um, I came to this city over 15 years ago. Many of you are still here. I think that you've gotten comfortable in your seats. You've gotten comfortable in your ways. And it's time for things to change here. And you know, it, it, it scares me to, that I'm thinking that you guys have Ms. gotten Savage, so comfortable. Your time's up. Thank you. Your time's Thank up, you. Ms. Savage. He's going to give me his time. Uh, uh, As I was saying, I think that you guys have been on this board so long that you've gotten comfortable in, in your positions and um, that you no longer have regard for the employees and the um, citizens of this community. Many people, um, you guys, the city is just rebuilding and, and building up so, so many um, taxpayers in this community do not know what's going on. And it's time that they know what's going on. And I personally, along with other taxpayers, um, uh, am gonna be a person to definitely fight for change in Emeryville. <laughs> 